All right, I'm at a Home Depot. I'm about to go pick up a Toro Time Master 30 inch push mower. Wish me luck. Toro Time Master. How you doing? Good. Good. Say this. This the this the uh, this the biggest lawnmower box I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. That's a good mower too. Help loading it up too. Okay. Just stay right here and he'll come and take you to the car with you. Okay. Next slide. So this is gonna be cutting faster and wider, huh? Yeah. Y'all, you, uh, you think y'all got a lot of them coming back or what? A lot more? No. No. You got more? Uh, what do you mean? A couple more, a lot more? No, I mean, people returning them? No, no. No, he part of these things that come back. Okay. The yeah, ones they ain't bring back is more heavy ass cement. Oh, yeah. Bring <laughs> <laughs> cement back. Yeah, because they be getting too that. much. And yeah, a lot more. And all the um, yard equipment, that barely see it all, unless somebody just don't want it. But other than that, once you get them, the Toro, he bought this one, about the best one there is too. Yeah. I gotta get me one of these. All right, yeah. YouTubers, we're gonna be unboxing a Toro Time Master. Toro Time Master. So I've been told that this has the same transmission as a Toro Turf Master, which is the commercial. Uh, it's the commercial uh, unit. Just want to take a look and see how sharp these blades are. They're not really sharp. They're sharp enough to cut. You know, they're not going to cut into you. But, um, oh, maybe a little. The blades seem pretty decent. The spindles look real nice. Look at these spindles that comes with it. Those are pretty, pretty much, uh, I would say mid-grade. It's not quite commercial, but it's not um, basic, you know, residential. Tires, tires seem pretty decent. <clears throat> pretty decent here. Figure out how to get this thing off the truck. <clears throat> I 
Heavy. This here looks up. <clears throat> so here's the Briggs and Stratton motor. Troll Time Master a good value? Well, that's hard to say right now because this is a $1,000 push mower. So, some of the pros obviously the width and the speed. This mower is very fast. You won't find yourself pushing it, you'll more find yourself uh, running behind it. Uh, some of the cons weight and power. This is a heavy machine and it seems to be a little underpowered. Um, but as far as cup quality goes, I can't notice any difference. Uh, it allows you to disengage the blade so you no longer have to stop the mower just to like maybe step out of the way or step over and move something out of the way. You can just let go and it just keeps running but the blades turn off. So that's a great feature. Uh, there's a little turn, there's a little off button instead of just shutting off as soon as you let go of it. Um, uh, speed, I mentioned the speed is outstanding. It doesn't replace a, a 22 inch though for me. You know, the yard's real small. I'm still going to hit it with a 22 inch. But I mean, this is a good tool to have. If I could go, if I can go back in time, I probably wouldn't have got a 36 inch commercial mower I probably would have went straight to a 52 inch and use this as a step in between the 52 inch and a push mower so yeah as you see here is me turning around for maybe what the second time ever and it, it, it takes some getting used to uh, I'm sure pretty soon I'll be whipping around like it's no big deal at all uh, so here's uh, how to wheel adjustment those pretty simple just like every other mower the axles are connected so you just adjust the front you adjust the front and that does the whole front axle and when you do the rear it does the whole rear axle what I don't like is that it uses a <clears throat> scale of A, B, C, and D letters um, I would have liked to actually see it inches you know, how, how many inches am I cutting it like my snapper pro, pro tells me the inches and that's cool because I can tell all my customers how high the grass is like they can ask me to lower it and I can say well how many well is that 3.5 or how about 3 inches you know it just helps with communication and everything 
but you know, it's to be expected. I'm, I'm, I think Snapper Pro is the only person, uh, only company that had their equipment measured in inches as far as height goes, as far as as far as deck height goes. But um, <clears throat> this is easy. You know, it's not rocket science. I can probably match it up and get pretty close. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, here's the shot of the bag. It's pretty flimsy, but whatever. It probably still still hold up. If not, it's probably pretty cheap. Uh, here in the next scene, I'm going to show you the Xmark version of this here at the uh, mower shop. So, check this out. Isn't uh isn't Toro and Nexmark the same company? Chris. They are, yes, by Chris. So so we see the Toro. What's different about the drive? The uh the the blade system. They both have blades, a blade brick system on them, but they're this is more commercial. Okay. All the way around from the blades to the Kawasaki motor to the big gas tank to the drive system to the deck. I mean it's it's a lot more money, I realize that, but it's, it's kind of a totally different machine. When you look at it, of course. How's the, how's the wheel adjustment work? Uh, you just... You just pull that out. Pop the wheel Wherever you want. Just make sure it's the same one as the other one. And then they got a label here, so you have to check whatever they want to go to. So you got to do the back axle adjust the back off. ones yeah back ones way easier back one you just pull this right and the whole thing um, that's real easy but the front's easy too i mean what's nice about this it's just simple yeah it's not gonna the wheels aren't gonna get all wobbly on you it's, it's see the other one for, how much horsepower third year. how much horsepower comes on this it's around a seven, six and a half. They don't rate them in horsepower anymore. Right, because the other one. 180 cc. The other one says like eight, whatever, but it says foot pounds. Yeah, they don't say horsepower no more. Yeah, this isn't going to. This is obviously a better motor. It's not so much more power. But it's power. not going to have a whole lot more power. Okay. Yeah. 